my families and welcome back. You know, we talk a lot about the fact that Holy Week, the special week, is a time set aside. And that is actually what holy can be translated as. is something to be set aside as special a time of reverence. And Holy Week for that is a time where we really enter in, a time to pray with the death and resurrection of Jesus to truly take the time to remember this wonderful, beautiful gift that God gave us, that Jesus loved us so much that he gave his life for us. So tonight is Holy Thursday. And Holy Thursday is the night that we remember the Last Supper. We remember how Jesus instructed us to be and what he gave us at the Last Supper to be with him always. So remember, the Last Supper is when the Eucharist is first established, that we take part in every single week. Jesus knew he was going to be leaving us, but he didn't want to leave us alone. So he gave himself in the Eucharist for us. And that's one of the most beautiful parts of Mass every single Sunday. And then he also gave us an example to follow on Holy Thursday, and that is the washing of the feet. So during this prayer service that you're about to watch, there'll be a part where you can pause and I'm going to invite you to wash each other's hands or feet. It is up to you to really remember that part and to pray with the service that Jesus calls us to, to live out every single day, to wash the feet of one another and to those who most need our help. Now, without further ado, Let's enter in to our Holy Thursday virtual prayer experience. Today, on Holy Thursday, we are going to relive what Jesus and his friends did when they celebrated the Last Supper. We're going to use our five senses to help us understand the importance of the events that took place at the table of the Last Supper. Jesus shared his last meal with 12 apostles that night before he gave up his life for all of us on the cross. This was the first Eucharist. So let's begin by imagining what the table must have looked like. I bet you there was a beautiful tablecloth that made all feel welcomed at this table. Maybe they put candles out and flowers. Because those things remind us that we are celebrating a very special meal. And of course, for our meal, we'll need bread and wine. Now in many meals back then, bread gives us the energy and the strength to live and wine was what helped everyone to rejoice. Before they sat down for their meal, after this very special table was set, Jesus invited the twelve to do something else. Jesus washed each of one's feet, each of the twelve. Now, because sandals were worn at this time, guests often arrived with dusty or muddy feet. Washing the twelve apostles' feet was a sign of Jesus' kindness, caring, and willingness to serve others. So before the meal began, Jesus rose from the table, removed his outer cloth, took a towel, wrapped it around his waist, and then poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of his disciples. He dried them with a towel that he was wearing around his waist. Today, instead of washing each other's feet, I invite you to get a bowl and to wash each other's hands. This is an example that Jesus set about how we are called to serve one another. Now, let us turn our attention back to the table. And maybe there's a table in your house you can look at, or maybe it's that table we set in our mind with that beautiful cloth and the candles and the flowers. But most important, the bread and the wine. 
And we remember that after Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, he broke the bread and he shared the cup and he reminded us and taught us that he would always be there for us. So maybe as a family now, you share some bread and remember that on the road to Emmaus, after the resurrection, that it was the breaking of the bread that we truly were able to recognize Jesus. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. Through his death and resurrection, we receive a life that shall never end. And help us to follow the example Jesus set and go out into the world and wash the feet of those who need it. This we ask through your son, Jesus. Amen.